Hi guys, Melvin here from New York Digital. In this short video tutorial, I'm going to be explaining how to import the ultimate recipe app template in Android Studio, how to customize it, and how to ultimately export it to an APK file that you can upload to Google Play. Okay, so let's go ahead and start our customization by importing the Android Studio code into Android Studio. Make sure you have Android Studio version 2.2 at least and click on open existing project here. Drag and drop recipe app into this menu here. Make sure you have recipe app highlighted and click OK. Android Studio should open up with the project. So let's go ahead and make sure we have everything OK from here. It looks fine. So now that you have opened the project, you can go ahead and test it by pressing the play button here. I have the emulator running, so I'm going to click OK. So there the app is running and it's loading the images from the demo admin page. So let's go ahead and rename the package ID. So unhighlight the compact empty middle packages here. Right click on Neuron Digital, Refactor, Rename, Rename Package. And we're going to put in your company name here and click Refactor. When you're done with this, do the same for the recipe app. Right click, Refactor, Rename, and put in your app name here and click Refactor once again to rename the app. When you're done with that, scroll down, open the Gradle scripts, click on module app and put in your package ID here. So you're going to put your company name in here and your recipe app name in here. Make sure to use the same names that used in here. Okay, so these are the libraries here that we're using so make sure you have google play services here installed for the app to work and or the last rest shall download automatically when you compile okay so let's go ahead and change the server url from configurations.java it is here so right now as you can see the App is loading all the data and the images and the recipes from the demo page. So when you have your admin page up and running, make sure to replace this. You may wish to add ads. So open up resources here, go to values, strings.xml. And from this file, you can translate anything. So all the translatable text is contained within these files. These tags here are of font awesome. So go to their website and you can get different images to replace these. This is for example, for the small arrow that comes next to the ingredients and it is the shopping cart. So if you wish to replace those, go to fontawesome.io and get your own icons. We have the code for the advertising in here. So we have the interstitial ads and the banner ads. If you wish to activate them, just get a net unit ID from AdMob and put it in here. The same goes for the banner ads. From this file, you can also enable the Google and analytics to see how your app is going. So if you wish to activate it, go to the Google Analytics website and get a tracking ID that looks something like this and put it in here. If you have purchased the extended license, you can also enable the in the purchases in the game, in the app, sorry, from here. So go to your Google Play dashboard and get the public key 
and put it in here. It's a long key. And create a, a product and get the product ID and put it in here. The app supports deep links for sharing. So what are deep links? Deep links are when you click on a link on Facebook or somewhere and if you have the app installed, the link will open automatically in the in the app and it will go directly to the recipe that the user opened, for example. So my deep link is set up to this link here. So when the app detects that this link has been opened, it will open it in itself. So if you wish to create your own URL, feel free to replace it from here. Also, if the app is not installed in the user's phone and the user for some reason opens this link here, the, the link will open in the user's browser. So make sure that you own this domain and you can put a button on it or something to let the user download the app. Also, if you, if you wish to enable deep links, you need to change these two from here, not from here, you need to go to the Android manifest and find those two, they are here and make sure to replace these two URLs from here as well. When you're done from that, you can also replace the Firebase push notification topic. So this topic you need to add in your Firebase admin page. I will get back to it later when I'm explaining the the admin page. So you will create a topic. So make sure that you use the same topic name in here. So that's all from here. Let's go to the images. We have the images in the drawables files file here. We have the ads image and the loading image. If you wish to replace those, just copy and paste your image in here. There's also the icon, which is in here. Now to replace the icons, don't, don't just drag and drop an icon there. Right click on map maps, new image asset and create your icon from this, from this dialog here. I'm just going to press cancel for now. If you wish to change any colors, feel free to do so from here. We have a few colors. We have the team colors here. So feel free to replace them. And that should be all. When you're done, feel free to test the app. And then you can go to build, generate, sign the APK and follow this small wizard to generate your APK and upload it to Google Play.